Look at the map form. Look at all of this Trump red on here with a little bit of Haley orange yellow. About 95%. It's fluctuating because we're still counting votes in some of these states. But more than 90% of the counties she has won in the Republican primaries are counties Joe Biden won in the 2020 general election. Let's look at all the states that Donald Trump has won to date. This is from the beginning of the contests with Iowa. We're going to do them in alphabetical order. Alabama, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Idaho, Iowa, Maine. That's just the first column. Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nevada, New Hampshire, North Carolina. That's the second column. Third column, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Quite a haul. So when you look at her vote, it's easy to say, okay, that's Nikki Haley. That's Donald Trump. Right. Uh, you know, it's dominant, and it is. Right. It is. He is dominating. He is well on his way. 893 delegates for the former president. Nikki Haley is up to 66 delegates, not in the same ballpark as Donald Trump at all. What does he need? What, what, what has he won? He's won 92% of the delegates to date. Nikki Haley's only won 6.8%. Donald Trump sits at 893 delegates. 893, Nikki Haley at 66. Boy, has Donald Trump just stretched his delegate lead on this biggest night He's got 92% of all the delegates awarded compared to Nikki Haley's 6.8%. That is not even a close contest in the thing that matters most for winning the nomination. And Trump's delegate advantage is, to borrow from him, huge. Almost 900 Trump delegates to 60 and change Haley delegates. The trend has crystallized just how dominant Trump has been. He has won a whopping 90 plus percent of all available delegates. He is, it appears, inevitable. And look at this map. I mean, I can click in on the individual counties if you want me to. You know, we can go here, we can go here, we can go here. It's all red. It's all red for Donald Trump in the state of California. 78% to 17%. This is the state that Donald Trump lost in 2016, and he's dominating here.